no mix it's just ice said i'm too cold baby that's the hey what's up guys it's andre other hair bringing you guys another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made a stack type beat let's get into it all right guys so i basically started this beat off with this piano sample that i found on splice i was just searching through different packs and stuff like that searching through different samples and i found this piano sample that just gave me those kind of most that kind of vibes so basically what i did i just put it into logic i messed around with it a little bit i think i changed the um pitch and i also chopped it up a little bit to make it sound a little bit more interesting and a little bit more unique and yeah and it ended up sounding like this I then wanted to find another sound just to complement the sample a little bit. So I went to Logic and I wanted to find a kind of pad, kind of a lead. And that's exactly what I found in Alchemy. Um, I found this nice lead that I really like the sound of. It's very soft, had a kind of, kind of soft, kind of chill kind of vibe to it, which sounded perfect. So I then came up with this melody just to complement uh, the piano sample. And I think it went really well with the piano sample and the melody ended up sounding like this. And everything together should sound like this. So after that, I just wanted to add another component to the beat. I wanted to add like a little vocal kind of chop uh, to the beat. That's something that's normally very prominent in a lot of UK kind of Afro dancehall kind of beats. And that's the vibe that I was going for uh, with this beat. So I wanted to add a little vocal chop in there. So I went into contact, I went into exhale, and I was searching through the different little vocal samples that it had in there. And then I came up on this kind of vocal chop, which kind of worked. I kind of liked how it sounded. So I then played this um, very simple kind of vocal chop kind of melody. That went really well with the piano melody and went really well also with the pad lead so yeah the vocal chop uh, melody ended up sounding like this And when you hear that with everything else, everything should sound like this. So after when I finished all of the samples and all the melodies and stuff like that, I just wanted to move on to the drums and as usual I always start my drums off with some claps so I went and found some kind of trappy kind of sounding claps and I played this clap pattern that's very reminiscent of that kind of afro dance hall uh, kind of clap pattern or snare pattern that you normally hear uh, in those kind of songs so I just put in this clap pattern that kind of had that kind of swing to it that gave the beat that kind of vibe and yeah the clap pattern ended up sounding like this And then when that's played with the rest of the beat, everything should sound like this. So after when I finished with the claps, I wanted to then move on to the snares. So I found these snares that weren't your typical kind of trap kind of sounding snares. It was like a snare that you'd probably hear in like a house kind of dance kind of uh, song. But I think it went really perfectly with the kind of vibe that I was going for uh, with this beat. So I just played this snare pattern that kind of um, mirrored 
uh, the clap pattern because I just wanted the snares to kind of back uh, the claps just to give it a different kind of sound. So yeah, the snares just backed up the claps a little bit and I also added a little filler at the end of every uh, fourth or eighth bar just to add a different dynamic uh, to the drums a little bit. But yeah, the snares just ended up sounding like this. And when that's played with everything else, everything should come together like this. So then after that, when I was finished with all the snares and the claps and stuff, I then wanted to move on to some close hats. So I then found these really kind of sharp, uh, but full sounding, kind of trappy sounding uh, close hat that I liked. And I played this very, very simple close hat pattern just to give the beat, just to give the drums a little bit of that extra kind of Afro dancehall kind of swing to it. But yeah, it sounded really well with the rest of the drums and it ended up sounding like this. And everything together should sound like this. So then after that, after we finished with the closed hats, I just wanted to move on to the kicks. So I found these kicks that were really hard hitting really punchy which is what I was looking for and I played this very very simple kick pattern that was very very uh, minimal kind of simplistic just to give the drums that extra bounce uh, which is what you normally kind of hear in those afro kind of dancehall kind of uh, beats normally the drums normally the kicks are quite minimal and quite simple and it really adds to that kind of um, bounce like less is really more when you're doing the kicks uh, with these kind of beats so yeah the kick pattern just ended up sounding like this And then when that's played with the rest of the beat, everything should sound like this. So yeah, after it was finished with all the drums, the beat was pretty much finished. The only thing I wanted to add to the beat with some bass with some 808s so when I found these 808s that I really like the sound of I wanted it to sound a little bit more distorted so I added some distortion to it just to give it that kind of rough grainy kind of distorted kind of sound and it sat really well uh, with the kicks but yeah I just played this very very simple 808 kind of bass line that went perfectly with the piano sample and the vocal chops and the pad lead as well it sounded really well uh, with all the different melodies and stuff that we had um, in the beat. So yeah, I just played this very, very simple 8 to 8 bass line that went really well with the rest of the beat and it just topped the whole beat off and it ended up sounding like this. And when you hit that with everything else, everything should sound like this. that was pretty much it that was every single component there was to this beat and that was the whole process that went into making this beat the only thing i had to do after that was structure the beat and that's exactly what i did so thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you guys liked the video if you did like the video though please click the like button down below and subscribe for more because i have way more videos like this coming out every single week and if you guys want to purchase any beats from me including the beat using this video you guys can go to andreother.beatstars.com and if you guys want you can follow me on twitter and you can follow me on instagram for all latest updates and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace